Exploring the phrase, kingdoms at war. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase, kingdoms at war. This phrase is not just about battles and history, but it's a gateway to understanding complex English expressions and their usage in different contexts. Let's dive into the world of kingdoms, conflicts, and the rich language that describes them. Kingdoms at war literally refers to two or more kingdoms engaged in a conflict or battle. A kingdom is a territory or nation ruled by a king or queen. When these kingdoms are at war, it means they are involved in a military conflict against each other. This term is often used in historical contexts, discussing wars from the past, like the famous Hundred Years' War between England and France. In modern English, kingdoms at war can also have a metaphorical or symbolic meaning. It can describe any major conflict or rivalry, not just between countries but in various scenarios like business, politics, or even personal relationships. For example, when two corporations are in fierce competition, we might say they are like kingdoms at war. This phrase is also popular in literature and media, often used to describe epic battles and historical dramas. It paints a picture of grandeur, strategy, and conflict, making it a favorite in genres like fantasy and historical fiction. For instance, in a fantasy novel, Kingdoms at War might set the stage for a dramatic and intricate plot. Let's look at how this phrase can be used in everyday English. You might hear someone say, the boardroom meeting was like kingdoms at war, with each department fighting for their interests. This shows the phrase's versatility in describing any situation where there is a clear conflict or competition. I hope this video has given you a deeper understanding of the phrase, kingdoms at war, and its various applications in English. Remember, language is not just about words, but the stories and imagery they evoke. Keep exploring and learning, and you'll find that English is a language rich with history and expression. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.